In 2018, we saw the release of the Galaxy S9. Then, of course, in 2019, we saw the Galaxy S10. And so today, we're going to be testing the Galaxy S9 against the Galaxy S10e. The difference is that the Galaxy S10e is running on the Exynos processor, whereas the S9 is using a Snapdragon processor. Will the newer Exynos be able to beat the older Snapdragon? Well, let's find out. So on the left hand side we have the Samsung Galaxy S9 from 2018 with the Snapdragon 845 processor. On the right hand side we have the Galaxy S10e with the Exynos 9820 processor. So of course the S10e is the newer of the two devices but of course it's running the Exynos. Now will it be able to beat the Snapdragon 845? Now it's also worth noting at this point that the Galaxy S10e is running in 1080p whereas the Galaxy S9 is running in 1440 will that have a difference when we come down to the GPU test now as I've been saying all that we are now into the compression test on the left hand side but we're already into the 16 thread test on the right hand side so clearly a big lead being built up now by the Galaxy S10e it's coming to the end of that uh, that uh, 16 thread test of course, the Exynos 9820 is an octa-core processor, so it handled that pretty easily. It's now into the mixed CPU-GPU part of the test, as it's already gone through the blur test, and it's now into the infinite scrolling test. And as I said, that the Snapdragon 845 in the Galaxy S9 is now doing its best through that 16 thread test. It's an octa-core processor as well, so it handled that pretty well. But a big lead now being brought up, 19 frames a second, 19 frames a second there by the Galaxy S10e, as it's already now into Unity test. So this looks like it's a done deal. We can see that the uh, S10e is superior than the S9. As you'd expect, 10 is greater than 9. And we are now into the unity test for the Exynos 9820 as the Snapdragon 845 in the Galaxy S9 is now doing its best to go through that smoke particle test. The frame rate will be shown in just a minute. 14 frames a second. That's a good number, but it's not going to be good enough, I don't think, as we now see that the S10e is making its way through the unity test and it's going to come down to the wall as now the Snapdragon 845 is also into unity test but I must say that's looking a lot smoother that's looking a lot smoother than what we're seeing on the right hand side it's now also going to come down to the water but as I said that the S10e has already finished that it's now into the unreal test so it's maintaining its lead at this point it's still going to go way ahead as only now the Galaxy S9 is getting into the unreal test as the S10e is making its way down that path the first one to get to the end of the path is going to be the winner it's as simple as that and again I can see that the uh, S9 is actually a bit smoother it couldn't possibly at this point overtake the Galaxy S10e that really would oh, it did it did look at that look at that 2 minutes 26.7 and then on the other side 2 minutes 28.2 absolutely unbelievable okay let's break down those scores and see what happened so as we all just saw there the Galaxy S9 with the Snapdragon 845 pipped the Galaxy S10e with the Exynos to the post there, 2 minutes 26.2 seconds, and then 1.5 seconds later, with 2 minutes 28.2 came in, the Exynos powered Galaxy S10e. So what exactly happened? Well, if you look at the CPU times, we can see a clear win here by the Galaxy S10e, 47.8 seconds compared to 1 minute 7.1 seconds. And again, when we get to the mixed CPU, GPU part of the test, including the 2D smoke particle test, we saw a clear win by the Galaxy S10e, 25.8, versus 34.4 so at this point everything was looking great for the Exynos but when we get into the unity test and the unreal test all of the thing changed all of a sudden we have 45.2 seconds for the Galaxy S9 whereas it's 1 minute 14.5 for the Galaxy S10 meaning the S9 was able to claw back the lead and in fact came in 1.5 seconds ahead at 2 minutes 26.7 my name is Gary Sims, this is Speed Test G. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do consider sticking around by subscribing to the channel. You can also give a like if that's the kind of thing you like to do. Okay, I'll see you in the next one.